Welcome back to my kitchen. If you are new here, my name is Christine. Today I am making homemade stuffing, gravy, and roasted chicken. I am creating and putting together a care package basically for my daughter who is at a university that is not too, too far away. But today is the first time I am getting to go visit her and this is what she requested. So let me just take you along and show you how I made it. The first thing I am doing is getting a bunch of bread chopped up, as you can see, and put into my foil pan that I bake it in. I end up making a big batch of stuffing because I figure, why not? I'm making it. Why not just make a bunch of it? And so I don't bring it all to her. I end up taking a good portion of it and freezing it for the future for her. So that is what I did. And here I am just getting my onions and celery finely chopped up. And I will saute that in a stick of butter, which how can you go wrong with that? I get that sauteed with the butter and some salt and pepper. Super simple, super easy. After I saute this, I turn the heat off and let it cool down before I add it to the bread mixture. So while I wait for this mixture to cool, I move forward on the next step in the process. While I am waiting for my celery and onion mixture to cool off, I am just going to get the remaining ingredients ready. And this is super simple. We just need eggs, milk, and poultry seasoning. Whoa. Well, that's dumb. Let's see if I can save this. I'm keeping it. Those are the things that people edit out that I will not be editing out. That's just reality. See if I can crack an egg. Now I'm afraid to do it. Okay, I've added two and I was intending to add three eggs. Let's call that two and three quarter eggs. Now I'm just going to add to the two cup mark roughly. This isn't an exact type of recipe, so at least for me anyway. If you watch any of my videos, a lot of my recipes are not exact. I apologize. I will link down below what I end up doing with the exact quantities. And like I said, the poultry seasoning, I'm going to use a lot of this in the stuffing recipe. I do need to reserve a little bit though for the chicken that I'm also making to go along with this. So I'm just going to put some in here for the chicken that I will be doing in just a few minutes, which I will show you. Okay, now I'm going to add in the onion and celery and butter and salt and pepper. We are not leaving any of that behind. Okay, I'm just going to toss it around a little bit. Whoops. Now 
Now I'm going to pour in the milk and egg mixture. Poultry seasoning. Give this a toss. It should feel pretty wet and if not, I might add more milk in. You can see it's already a lot smaller, a lot less than when we started. poultry seasoning. poultry. That feels right. I am just going to cover this and bake it at 350 for about 45 minutes to an hour. And then I will uncover it and bake it for a few more minutes just to give it a little bit of crispiness on the edges. I will see you back in a little bit. We will give it a taste test and see if we need to make any adjustments. While the stuffing is baking, I am going to whip up a quick marinade for the roasted chicken. I am using the poultry seasoning, garlic, olive oil, salt and pepper, a little bit of garlic powder, a little bit of onion powder, and that is it. Give it a whisk and stir it all together, and then I just combine it with my chicken thighs. I used for this recipe boneless, skinless chicken thighs. I would have preferred the skin on, bone in, just regular chicken thighs, but I could not find them at the grocery store. So I am just using what I could find and that worked out just fine. So this ends up going into my refrigerator and I marinate it overnight. After that is finished and while the stuffing is still in the oven, I move on to making a really quick, super simple, delicious homemade gravy. I use equal parts butter and flour and I grate in a little bit of onion and I get that all whisked together nicely and cook off the starch and then I go in with a couple cups of hot water and a couple teaspoons of my very favorite Noor's chicken bouillon. I will link all of these recipes down below in the description box. But I just get that nicely stirred together until it starts to thicken and it turns into just the most beautiful gravy. I add pepper. I do give it a taste test just to make sure that the flavors are on point. And then I finally go in with a splash of half and half. You can use heavy cream if you have it. And in no time at all, you have yourself a super simple, super delicious homemade gravy. Okay, I just wanna give the stuffing and gravy a super quick taste test to see if it needs any adjustments. And then we will continue this video on tomorrow when I actually cook the chicken and put my little package together to bring to my daughter. So I just put a little bit of stuffing into a bowl with some of the gravy just to give it a, a little taste test. Smells really good. It smells like Thanksgiving. Mmm.
really good. It doesn't need anything. I am just going to take the cover off and bake it for a few more minutes like we talked about just to get it a little crispier around the edges and just to cook it just a little bit more, but flavor wise, it's right on point. See you tomorrow. Good morning. Now I just get the chicken out and onto the cooking sheet and I bake it at 375 for about 25 minutes or so. Okay, the chicken is out of the oven. I'm just going to let this cool off a little bit and chop it up just a little bit and get everything packaged up. I'm going to put the stuffing and the chicken in here. This is the gravy that we made yesterday. I am just giving it a good stir to get it well combined and then pouring it into one of my favorite glass snap lock containers and getting it packed up. And there you have it. Now she's got a few homemade dinners. I'm also bringing her some fruit that she, she asked for some fresh fruit from our local market where she actually works and loves their produce. So I got her some honey crisp apples, which are just beautiful. I need to wash these real quick. And then her other favorite fruit, some nectarines, so beautiful. I need to wash these. I already did this yesterday, but um, I bought some watermelon, cut it up. Her other favorite fruit and her last favorite fruit, Pineapple, already chopped up for me and ready to go. Beautiful. So I am just going to get all this washed up and packaged up and we are ready to go. I just want to say thanks for joining me in the kitchen today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I can pop another video right here for you to check out between now and my next upload. Please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. I upload every other day and I can't wait to see you next time.